All right, welcome back to our channel. Um, we're going to go over 766.2 6.2, ready, set, go. And we're going to do um, number five, which is writing a line that's parallel. And then we're going to do number, oh, here it is, number eight, writing a line that's perpendicular. So we just reviewed really quickly um, what it means to be parallel and what it means to be um, uh, perpendicular. So I'm going to review with you how to write the equation of a line. If you remember, whenever we're writing an equation of a line, we're always going to use y equals mx plus b. That's one of the easier ones. You can also use um, the standard form ax plus b, y equals c. But in terms of this, because you know about parallel lines um, and what parallel lines share, it's going to make more sense to use this one. Okay. So for this equation, it says write the equation for the given line. Look at this equation. I need the M and the B. Remind me what M is. What's M? Yeah, M is slope. Slope. Very good. And what is B? The y-intercept. Very good. B is the y-intercept. So the y-intercept is this guy right here. And your slope is just you counting. So you find a good point, say like right here, and you find another good point, and you count how far, how many um, to on the elevator to go up and how much over because it, I went up that's two positive two and because I went to the right which means positive that's positive one so my slope in this case is two over one and my y-intercept in this case is negative two very good so then you plug those into your equation and then you're really just done Okay, so here goes, it goes y equals m. Ms. Johnson, why are you writing it as two over one? Because we're gonna do something later, which is gonna help if it's a fraction. Okay, in general, I like, um, sorry, I like my um, slope in a fraction because as, in the context of what slope is, it makes more sense, doesn't it? Okay, so plus, and then I write negative two, and you guys are thinking, Ms. Johnson, can you just write minus two? Absolutely. So I clean up my equation and I get y equals two over one x minus two. Okay, so then you're supposed to graph a line that's parallel to the given line. You're just supposed to graph a line that's parallel to your given line. Now, when you're graphing a line that's parallel to a given line, what are the two pieces of information that we talked about in terms of parallel? In terms of parallel, huh, what? I say one yeah about parallel yes if a line is parallel it means that the lines will never meet or they'll never touch they'll never meet that's the visual representation that we want to go for that looks that looks parallel right guys pretty good i think i'm just gonna go with yes that's parallel miss johnson and what's the other part of the equation uh, of parallel that we would need to know go ahead yes. both the slopes of both lines are the same Yes, they have the same slope. So wait, Ms. Johnson, I don't even need to do anything to, for writing that equation of the line. Yeah, you don't need to do anything. Just copy. M equals two over one. Okay, and now I have to find my B. What's my B for my other line? What is my B for my other line? Oh, no, sorry, the pinkish line. The pinkish line. Yeah, very good. It's four. It's this guy right here. So he's four. And then so you plug it in and then you're done. So here goes my equation. It's y equals two over one x plus four. Everybody okay with that? The biggest thing that you need to walk away with from this lesson is that the slopes are exactly the same the slopes are the same. So parallel, the moment that you saw this parallel word, you would have been like this. Oh, I know what this means. Number one, they, the lines don't intersect. Some of you like to use the word meet. Um, some of you, met, <laughs> sorry, meet. Some of you like to use the word, they don't cross. Whatever the case is to get your head to think of that picture, that's what you need. The second part, and this is the ninth grade definition or the, oh, the older definition, 
is they have the same slope. So I'm going to write this parallel lines have the same slope. So if this is not in your head, let it be in your head pretty soon because this is the most important part. Okay. We need that in your head. Everybody get on parallel. So uh, now look at number five. Now look at number six. Are you going to be able to do number six? If I gave this to you as a quiz, are you guys, I know, are you guys okay, okay with this? Yes, Ms. Johnson. Oh, look, people are smiling. Yes, Ms. Johnson, please give this to me. Please give this to me on the, on the quiz. Yeah. Okay. What about number seven? Are you guys okay with that one on the quiz? Yes. Okay. So now we're going to go to number eight. So the very first thing I want you to do is I want you to practice by writing the equation to this line. Write the equation to this line. And so I'm going to pause the video. You guys are going to write the equation and then we're going to come back and we're going to talk about perpendicular. Ready? Go. All right. So a lot of you already had the answer and then you moved on to find the line perpendicular to it even better, even better. So here, here's me finding the equation of a line. This is again, just a little bit of review, just in case that you needed that review. Um, again, the equation of a line that I like to use for this is y equals mx plus b. m is your slope and b is your y-intercept. I'm going to use the same colors, m equals and b equals. So b in this case is 1. Always check your scale, meaning these numbers that are ticking off right here, is it really counting by ones? Because if they're not, then that's not a one. That could be a 10 or a half. All right, you guys want to know something weird? Does anybody see this face right here? I know, weird. That's what I see. All right, there you go. That's Miss Johnson being weird. You're welcome. All right, M, the slope. This is where we count up one right three. So my slope is going to be rise over run. One, three. So then my equation just goes like this. Y equals blank X plus blank. And then I put my one third in the M spot. I put my, uh, my Y intercept. This one is a sept, by the way. Um, my, my Y intercept as a one. Okay. That's my equation. Now it says draw a line that's perpendicular. Any questions on graphing that line? Any questions on graphing that line? No. Okay, let me draw a line that's perpendicular to it. Sorry, I'm gonna use my, ooh, this is bad, hold on, sorry. I don't like this line. Give me a second. I have to move this line and it always snaps. Ugh, forget it. I'm trying again. All right, that's a little better. I can never get this. Oh, that's pretty, that's pretty good. There you go. Yeah, that's a pretty good perpendicular. Don't you think that's perpendicular? Is that a pretty good perpendicular line? Yeah, your eyes are really actually trained very well because you see so many right angles around you. So use that training to be right. Um, a couple of reminders here. Number one, whenever we have perpendicular lines, we make a little square guy like that to tell you, hey, these are perpendicular. And then what I like to do is I find um, two really good points. I'm going to use that one. And I take the elevator up. So that's up three, left one. So my slope in this case, I'm going to put a little perpendicular symbol in there, is up three, left one. So three over negative one, which is negative three. I'll still keep him as a fraction because I like to see him as a fraction. I like my slopes as a fraction. And my B in this case is the same. I didn't have to keep them the same, but I just, that's how I drew it. So I'm going to leave it like that. And actually one of your classmates did the same thing. So I, I kind of copied. So Y equals something X plus something one. And then this is negative three over one. So I'm going to do a couple of checks here. I'm going to do a couple of checks here. I would like to do a check because I actually want to make sure that I'm right. So I'm going to find my Desmos app and I'm going to graph these two lines. So I got Y equals one third X plus one. And I got Y equals negative three divided by one 
x plus one. Oops, not minus one. So number one, I know it's not exact because Miss Johnson, she can't do it exactly. But don't you think that those two lines match? The ones that I graphed on my paper matches what I graphed on Desmos. Everyone's like, yeah, that's right. Okay, my other check that I'm going to do is, <clears throat> and I have to do this for perpendicular lines, is I'm going to check to see, and I'll do this in green. Um, I'm going to check to see my if my slopes equal when I multiply them, negative one. So one third times negative three over one is that negative one? This is a question. Is that true? And some of you are like, yeah, because negative three divided by three. Yeah, that's a negative one. Check. So I did two checks. I did the visual check. And then I also did my algebraic check. So let's write down what perpendicular means to Miss Johnson. Number one, the perpendicular lines intersect at right, um, right means 90 degrees, okay, angles. Number two, algebraically, the slopes of perpendicular lines are opposite reciprocals of each other. Example. Uh, one third and negative three over one. Okay, so this again is something that you are responsible for. If you understood those two things about perpendicular lines here, I'm going to make you dizzy. I'm going to make you dizzy. I'm going to make you dizzy here and parallel lines here, then that's all you were supposed to get for 6.2. So if there's a part here that you're like, eh, I don't like it, practice that part. Okay, you're like, um, I think there's this misconception out there in the in in students' heads that say if I don't do it right perfectly the very first time, then I must not be good at math. Okay, that's like 99% of the people then on 99% of the things that people do. If you can think about one thing that you did perfectly the very first time then, you know, that's amazing. And some of you are like, breathe, Miss Johnson. The very first time I breathe. No, that's not even true. That's why there's, I don't know, you know the thing about the doctor slapping the, the baby's bottom to get them to breathe first? None of the doctors slapped my baby's bottom. I'm just putting it out there. And now you know. Okay. Um. So anything that you do for the very first time, it shouldn't be perfect. Nothing. Like the very first time that I played softball. Nope. Swung the bat. Nope. Nothing. Okay. So thank you for listening. Great job.